Hello everybody, welcome back. It's the Doctor, and here we go. We are starting Ice in the Tactical Odyssey. Now, Ice usually goes pretty darn fast. It is a quick STF, so I may not have the chance to use all the abilities of the Odyssey. I will, however, attempt to do so if I can. That's the Chevron separation, the Aquarius, and the Worker Bees. Naturally, I always go with the Worker Bees and then weapon system efficiency, and from there we'll see what we need. As you can see, um, yeah. Did not need the Aquarius or the Chevron separation for that little bit. I, I really don't think I'll be using the Chevron separation that at all in this in this one I might for CSE in case I just don't see needing the chevron separation with this ship with this build and ice I'll pop the Aquarius though and that'll give me a little more firepower always welcomed No problem whatsoever. This ship, pretty powerful for a, a cruiser. Can do a lot of damage. And check out that sphere going bye-bye. Well, that was easy, my friends. Very easy. I'll recall the Aquarius just so it doesn't get stuck or killed by the gate here, and I'll pop it again a little bit later. But I think I will forego Chevron separate. Well, maybe I'll use Chevron separation when it's time to take down the gate. Maybe that will be useful then. How did that get destroyed so fast? This is a very good team. I'll go ahead and do chevron separation just so we can say we've, we, we've done it. I don't really feel like I need it, but I'll do it. We'll give it a shot. That way we just really kill everything here. <laughs> I don't even know where my... Is that? That's not me. Where's my saucer? There's my saucer. It's doing something. Much more maneuverable in saucer separation mode. Bada bing. That's how you do that thing. Let my saucer come back. And that, my friends, is ice in the tactical odyssey.
Very nice, very nice. We will do a... Uh, oh, wait. Need CSC in that case. We'll do CSE next, then we'll do case after CSE. Anyway, that's Ice in the Tactical Odyssey. Naturally, Ice was pretty fast anyway, but hey, with this ship, that actually wasn't terrible. That was not bad at all. Uh, I'm going to let my friends come back online. My crew, uh, they like to you go to sleep when I go to battle. Actually, they all like to fall dead when I go to battle. But uh, we'll let my crew come back to life, and then we'll do CSE, so stand by, and I will get that queued up. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the Doctor. Here we go, Tactical Odyssey in Cure Space Elite. I will not be doing the Kang today. I will be doing the Borg with the rest of the group. Right, middle, left, as always. Somebody has the Kang, but as always, I like to keep an eye on it anyway, just in case. Uh, because you never know what may happen. Sometimes things get out of hand and you have to go lend a hand. So it's always a good idea to do that with the team. We'll pop the Aquarius right now, why not? Let it give us a helping hand here. Okay, here comes the neg bar. Should be coming out. There we go. Let's go ahead and target it. I can bring down its shields pretty fast. See, look at that. We already dropped the shields on that sucker. There we go. Neg bar. No problem. What? Ah, oh, it's a rip-off. What a rip-off. <laughs> I was not doing too well in that battle. I wasn't in a very good position to be fighting it. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't using my weapons smartly enough. Anyways. I'm gonna take it out. Actually. Okay, they're good there. I'm taking this sucker out. There, now I feel better. Negvar, let's do it. Bam, bam. Doing good, doing good. This is a good run. It's just the way I like it. Whew, they went bye-bye. I don't even know where my Aquarius is. I'm just hoping it's doing something useful. Because I have no idea where, it, where it's at right now. I do not see it. 
If I don't see it, that usually means it has been destroyed, so let's go ahead and recall it. Your defensive capabilities are unable to withstand us. Lower your shields and await assimilation. Bam! Another excellent run. CSC in the bag. Tactical Odyssey coming through for us. Not bad at all. Very good run. Again, my crew, they like to um, make themselves unconscious. And I guess they like to... I guess... I th here's what I imagine is happening. Is that as I go into battle, all of the crew inside my ship are just banging their heads on the bulkheads and go and just knocking themselves unconscious. That's the best I got. <laughs> That's my crew for you. All right, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to set up for case. So stand by. All right, hello everybody and welcome back once again. It's the doctor and here we go, the Tactical Odyssey in case. Get him record space elite. So I will not be doing probes because I want to show off any ability this ship may have in taking down the generators, the transformers, the gate, all that type of stuff. Instead of just sitting there taking down probes. Which I probably also could do in this ship. It is a function that I could perform. Uh, this ship is certainly worthy enough to do that. I don't think it's good enough to do both sides at the same time. Some people are able to do that. But if you were just doing one side probes, uh, this ship build could do that. Uh, again, I'll try to use the abilities of this ship to the best of my ability. Not sure when I'll separate or use the Aquarius, but we'll see. I will do it as the need arises. Wow. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's how you do that. That was quick. So here's a generator. Now we can take it down fairly fast. For beam weapons. Remember, we're not firing cannons. We are firing beams. Not terrible. Not terrible. Let's go ahead and get the Aquarius out. Oh, crap. What just hit me? All of a sudden, I went from 100% to zero. What was I hit with? Th that's one of those one-hit kills that the board can do that, well, everybody hates, but there's really no defense for that. I mean, I, I, I went dead instantly. No defense for that. There we go. Target shield have failed. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours.
I could Chevron separate here. That would certainly help. I'm going to save it, though. I want to save it for the gates. Because we're, we've almost got this done now. Here we go. What? 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 What did that? Somebody tell me what just did that. Just like the first one. What is killing me with one hit wonders? Holy crap. The heck is that? That is not fair. Come on, guys. I had plenty of health. That was ridiculous. That was uncalled for and unnecessary. Good grief. I was just about to do my uh, shield sus uh, targeting. And then bam, I'm not there anymore. That is just uncalled for. I am Chevron separating for the gate. Just to give it a little more firepower. What? My hole went away again. What is killing me? Holy crap, this did not happen in ICE or CSE. But something is devastating to my ship. I don't know what. That is craziness. Didn't happen in the first two STFs, so... I can only think that maybe it's the gate. Whatever this gate's doing, you know, draining your shields like it does. Or whatever it's doing is just really bad for my ship. I hope my saucer is out there doing something. I don't even know where my saucer is at. Look, there, there went down again. Look at that. Look at that. My hole again went by. Jeez. Holy crap. What is killing my hole? Good grief. It didn't do that in the first two SDFs. That is concerning to me. I don't know what is happening all of a sudden. Thank you, everybody, for the heals. But wow, what took down my hull? That was crazy.
I'm always in her crosshairs. Always when she pops back up. What? I wasn't even in the arc. What the? Uh, I call shenanigans. Shins on you. Shins, my friend. Shins. That was total baloney. I shake my fist at thee. Well, guys, I guess I don't get a chance to take down the Valdor. <laughs> I just get to sit here and watch. Good grief. Well, this was not the best run through. Oh, there's my uh, Aquarius. I found it. It's there. Why is it there? I thought I recalled it. Well, it's, at least it gets to battle the, the Valdor. <laughs> I don't, but it does. I didn't even know I had it out there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. What a ripoff. Finally. Wow. Okay, so that run did not go smooth as smoothly. Um, please don't even show me my parse results because I'll be embarrassed. Because I was dead for th half the time. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, that was terrible. Anyways, the first two went great. I don't know what was killing me. I mean, that was very odd. I didn't have that problem in ICE or CSE. And any other... I've been playing a lot of the um, STFs before. And I never had that problem in case with this ship. This is the first time where something was just decimating my hull and just killing me instantly that had not happened before so odd very odd well anyway folks i hope you have enjoyed this look at the odysseys i'll put uh, that in plurals because there are three uh, actually there's four odysseys i didn't really talk about or go over the standard odyssey but it's out there you can get it i think it's for free or at least it used to be when it was first introduced you got it for free and it's just the standard Odyssey. Nothing too special about it. What I focused on in these videos were the Sea Store uh, Odysseys. Tactical Operations and the Science one. So, now you have seen this wonderful ship in three different varieties. Trying to push it to the best of its abilities using that specific career type that fit that type of ship. I tried to do that for you all to give you the best look at it. And in all runs, I was able to uh, show you all three of the consoles together to give to show you what it's fully capable of when you equip all three parts. Now, if I were just going to keep this Tactical Cruiser Odyssey on my tactical character, I would probably strip at least one of those abilities. And I would probably strip the Chevron separ separation, to be honest with you. But I also could do without the Aquarius. And what that would do is that would give me um, extra console space to beef up its tankingness a little bit more. Because even though it tanks better than an escort still a little more glassy than a beefed up uh, Odyssey cruiser on a an engineering character for example so I could augment that with a shield capacity console to improve shield capacity I could use the neutronium thing to give me better resistance and, be and more ship hit points so there are other things that I could do to beef it up a little bit better and take away some of those unique consoles. I don't feel like on the tactical one I really need Chevron Separation or the Aquarius. I like the worker bees. It's just an easy thing I can just keep enabling and putting out there and they do repair your shields. 
So I like that. But the other two on this particular ship, the Tactical Odyssey, I don't feel are completely necessary. So that would be one thing I could change for the long run if I were going to keep the ship on here and uh, use uh, more consoles for other things. Anyways, now that we've looked at all the Odysseys, um, which one do I feel is best? Because that people are going to ask that, you know, is it the Tactical Odyssey, is it the Operations, or is it Science? And I have to go with the Operations Odyssey, the engineering one, for some very specific reasons. Number one, and the main reason, really the biggest reason out of this ship, is that no matter which variety you have, you are always stuck with a commander engineering bridge officer space. So if you are flying the tactical one, you do not have a commander tactical bridge officer. You still have the commander engineering. Same on the science. And that's where the that's where this ship, I, I feel, natively fits better. So on an engineer, you could use that commander engineering uh, position. Then you have more engineering console slots as well. And I feel that that's where this ship is at home this ship is at home on an engineer yes you can use the tactical variant or the science variant on on each corresponding career but you are sacrificing you are not getting the full potential of that career type out of the odyssey uh, or the tactical or the science odyssey because you do not have that a career specific commander bridge officer ability on tactical or science and that really makes it or breaks it for me. If it had that, if it, if it just that one change where they had a, you know, on the operations you had Commander Engineering, but then Tactical you had Commander Tactical, and then Science you had Commander Science, that would change my opinion about the versatility of this ship. It would make it more versatile. But as it is, it's an engineering heavy ship, even if you fly the Tactical or the Science one and that's where it sits that's where it is you are not getting the full benefit out of your tactical or science character with the odyssey it's an engineering ship even though there's a couple of different variants it's an engineering ship so if i were going to fly an odyssey i would put it on my engineering character i would not fly it on my science or my tactical that's me personally I'm sure other people feel differently, um, but that's my reasoning. My reasoning is you are not getting the full benefits out of that career type. Also, with a tactical officer, you do a lot of damage, and you really want to use cannons on a tactical officer because that's what makes a tactical officer flying escorts unique to engineering or science officers flying cruisers or science ships. Those are mostly going to be beam weapons. So that's what makes a tactical character a bit unique is the fact that it's, it's really built for cannons, dual heavy cannons, that type of deal. And you can't do that on the Odyssey. So you're sacrificing that for your tactical character. You're not getting the best potential you can out of a tactical character with this Odyssey. That is my reasoning behind that. But drop me a comment and let me know what you think of the ships. Do I think this is a worthy successor to the Enterprise E? Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Here's what I think. I I think the Enterprise E hasn't got enough time. Uh, it it hasn't had enough time. It just hasn't hasn't had enough focus. I don't know what the word is, but it hasn't had enough hasn't had enough limelight hasn't had enough um it hasn't been a showrunner long enough i don't know what word i'm trying to think of here but it just seems like more can be and needs to be done with the enterprise e before we move on to the enterprise f because well first of all the enterprise e is own, in game in the in game Star Trek Online storyline is I guess lost in space somewhere or whatever. But if you go outside of Star Trek Online and you go to the real Star Trek, well I say real Star Trek canon. Really, this is kind of also canon in a way. But if you go to TV Star Trek, right, 
they had the movies. They ended with Nemesis with the Enterprise E, but that didn't tell the end story for the Enterprise E. The Enterprise E still had more missions after Nemesis, the movie. It still had, you know, it had a it had a long life somewhere that we just haven't seen on the screen. And it only had a certain amount of movies where the Enterprise E were in the movies. It's never had a TV show around it. It's never, like the Enterprise D, it never got a big focus on it except for just the movies. And I think it's the same way in the game that the Enterprise E kind of got pushed to the side so that they could make a new Enterprise F, <laughs> you know, replace it. But I think that the Enterprise E doesn't get enough credits. So I think there's still life in the Enterprise E. So, but, so is it time for an Enterprise F? Maybe, maybe not. I think the Enterprise F came too soon. That is personally my opinion. I know people wanted to see what would the next Enterprise be or look like or all that. I think we should have stayed with the Enterprise E for a few more years in Star Trek Online. You know, Star Trek Online is now working on it's uh, up to fit five years running now. I think now is when the Enterprise F should have maybe been introduced. You know? Maybe we should have given five Star Trek Online five years of, you know, making the Enterprise E a big deal. And then the F comes along later. I think it just came on a little too soon, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. I'm sure other people will agree or disagree. Um, is this a worthy successor? Uh, yes. It has a lineage that you can tell is the Enterprise. I mean, when you look at the profile, you looked at the way it's shaped... It, it immediately connects into your head that this could be an evolution from the Enterprise E. This is a uh, an evolution of that ship, just getting bigger and fatter. <laughs> so, it um, yeah, it, it you look at it and you say, yeah, that's the Enterprise. You know, it looks like an Enterprise. So I think the nacelles maybe should be a tad higher because you know the classic, of course, ship, the the toss ship, the nacelles were really high. Then uh, the Enterprise B, I guess they were lower, and um, no, they were still kind of high. And then the C is where they kind of lowered them a little, and then the D they were lowered, and then the E they were kind of streamlined with the rest of it, and same with this. I'd kind of like to see a little bit of throwback to the older styles where maybe the nacelles were just a tad higher, higher than the saucer section, you know? I think that would be kind of cool looking. I understand the streamline work look, but you don't need streamline in space. That doesn't matter. Also, I think this is, this is weird here where it just has this opening under the saucer and the hole. I don't like this. This needs to be filled in right here, in my opinion. It needs to be filled in. It doesn't need to be open like that. That's just weird. Other than that, yeah, I mean, it, it, it does say Enterprise. Um, does it perform well it is the biggest it's a flagship again that's one thing that they did uh, similar to the enterprise d is it's a flagship of the federation just like the enterprise d was so i like that that they brought the enterprise back to being the flagship of the federation you know the biggest ship the 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 the, the one that's going to go do all the first contacts and everything i like that that's what the enterprise should be it should be the first contact ship it should be the go um go out there and meet new alien ship, the exploration ship. So I, I like that aspect of it. And it was never meant to be a warship anyway, the Enterprise, even the first one. So um, I guess it does kind of fit well. I have grown to like it. I'll say that I've grown to like it. At first I was like, oh, blah, blah. and I'm sure a lot of people were like that. But, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have, uh, I have choked on air <laughs> mm. your resistance is low yes it is no it actually only was low in case it wasn't low in ice or CSE and any other time I played but just that once I don't know what was going on in that case but that was odd for sure that was weird anyways um, yeah so as I was saying I guess it's a good evolution of the Enterprise. But I remember we saw the Enterprise J in uh, the series Enterprise. So um, this is the F. Got a F, G. We got a, a couple more ships to go before then. But um, 
Uh, that'd be cool to see the Enterprise J one sometime, but now we're really talking far in the future. That was like the 26th century, and we're in the 25th century here, so at least 100 years from now. So we got to have a couple more inter. See, this is this is one thing I find odd is that they're the the ships seem to live a short life term lifetime. In a hundred years, they're going to have three more enterprise, two at least two more enterprises: the F, G, H, J. Yeah, so that's weird. And in a, in a hundred years, they're going to have like two more enterprise. So that's weird. That and even from the D, well, the D to the E made sense, but the E to the F, I think, is just so short term. I mean, there's there wasn't enough. I mean, the E didn't get enough lifetime out of it. Now, I guess if it disappeared in the storyline and it's not ever to be found again then that makes sense they would eventually make another ship but if if it didn't and they somehow found it or it came back it'd be weird to have the F so fast yeah I, just, I don't know I think they have a short they need to last a little longer I see I would think that starships it would last at least 50 years you know I mean these things are a robust <laughs> Uh, but they seem to have a short lifespan for some reason, or shorter than I think they should have. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, now I'm really going off tangent. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this look at the Odyssey. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for the next.